OPEC cuts production by 2 million barrels per day as Biden administration goes all in on SPR withdrawals. What does that mean for oil prices heading into year end? That's coming up on Three Minutes on Markets and Money. Yesterday, OPEC announced a 2 million barrel per day cut in oil production. Now, that was only expected to be a million barrels a day. This has obviously infuriated the Biden administration, who now claims that OPEC is all in with Russia. What this does mean is that there's going to be less production of oil as demand increases heading into winter. That suggests higher oil prices. Importantly, though, the Biden administration came out and said they're going to extract another 10 million barrels from the SPR. Now, the SPR reserves have already fallen from 48 days in 2021 of supply down to just 22 days of supply. Now, that's the lowest level on record since 1990. Why is that important? Because at some point here very soon, as the SPR is a national security issue, right? So in the event, the reason we have the SPRs is that in the event that we're cut off from importing oil everywhere in the world, say a, a world war breaks out, right? And we can't import oil. That gives the U.S., well, did give the U.S. 48 days of supply uh, to fuel the needs of the U.S. economy while we figure out an alternative. We're now down to 22, so that doesn't give us much buffer to get oil companies out to drill wells, et cetera. And of course, this has been one of the problems. The aggressive posture of the current administration against oil and gas companies is limiting their ability to get oil leases or even the incentive to go out and drill a lot of wells because of not knowing what the environment's gonna be politically over the course of the next couple of years. There's not a clear path of investing capital and capex into oil and gas drilling because of the current aggressive nature of the administration against the oil companies. So this is all limiting supply. We're now back to importing oil into the U.S. This all suggests with the production cut, and the reason I tell you this is that as we move into the winter time that's going to lead to a bigger demand in oil prices for heating oil etc that suggests that we're going to see petroleum prices starting to rise and we've already seen this we talked about the fact that west texas intermediate crude was very oversold here just a week or so ago that has led to this reflexive rally we had laid out a target of about 90 91 dollars a barrel that is still well within our target range right now for that rally that was one of the reasons we increased our oil and gas energy stock exposure with oil prices now back on a buy signal we're likely going to see a little bit more move higher here but in the short term oil prices are back to overbought conditions so a little bit of a pullback here wouldn't be surprising but that'll be a good opportunity to increase some energy exposure in portfolios because likely as we move into the latter part of this year we're going to wind up seeing higher energy prices now of course that's going to weigh on consumption and next year, with the Fed hiking interest rates aggressively, higher energy prices, of course, that's going to impact demand and the risk of a recession next year is going to create a very poor environment potentially for the economy between this. Now, normally recessions bring down demand that could bring down oil prices. But the problem, as I said earlier, is with the cuts in production and then having to refill the strategic petroleum reserves that could act as an opportunity to help give support to higher oil prices for longer, but that's going to further impede economic growth. That's going to potentially weigh on both earnings as well as the markets later next year. So again, a lot of impacts coming from what's happening with energy prices. So keep a watch on this. We'll watch it for you right here on 3 Minutes on Markets and Money.